Topping the news tonight, tens of thousands of dollars up in smoke after a massive fire got stalled down at popular hangout Portisky Dock. Charles Fisher begins our coverage tonight with the minister responsible visiting the charred East Bay Street open marketplace. Upon his arrival at the site, the Minister of Agriculture and Marine Resources, the Honorable Michael Pintard, was met by some of the displaced vendors. Our hearts go out to the, uh, to the vendors and their families who rely on, on this business. Uh, it is incredible the intensity of the fire, and you can see by the, by the level of, of damage that it is going to take a while for a number of these vendors to rebound. What is also true is that the damage to the stores, I believe about seven stores, will also affect other vendors. And so uh, we are going to move as quickly as we can to, uh, to ensure that the rebuilding process commences. He added that he will meet with the vendors that were affected and some others on the way forward, but is sympathetic with them as they have been dealing with one situation after another. Extremely difficult time. You would recall that during the pandemic, it was a tremendous struggle to work out what would be the appropriate protocols to ensure that they could remain open and support their families. Uh, so we've had a series of challenges over the last uh, two years. We've had unfortunate incidences that have happened here at Porter Ski that affected the flow of traffic uh, to support these uh, vendors who, who support many families over the years. And then we had the pandemic and now we have this, this catastrophic fire. President of the Potters Key Fisheries and Vegetable Vendors Association, Dominic Brown, was on the scene during the fire, but could not confirm if all the vendors were insured. Apparently the fire had started in this area that we are standing in. Um, we have eight stalls that were damaged. Six of them damaged completely to the ground. Two of them damaged and can be repaired. Some persons do have, some do not. I cannot say who have insurance from who don't have insurance. But as it stands now, some do. Wendy Constantine, president of the Bahamas Allied Dock and Vendors Association, has had her stall out there for 11 years. At the cause of the fire, we don't know at this time, and we don't want to speculate. Overwhelming. It's, it's devastating to see what you put into something, your life, your, your, I mean, your life savings. Um, his, just um, the memories, and then now you have staff unemployed. So it, it is an overwhelming feeling right now at this time. For the ZNS Network News, I'm Charles Fisher.